Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. Today is not a science video. It is on a Christianity. I'm a Christian, as you know. Today's message is the, the Lord's Prayer is not correct. Part of the Lord's Prayer is not correct. The Lord's Prayer goes like this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Or holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, or trespasses, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus was walking with his disciples when they asked him, Teacher, Jesus, teach us how to pray. And Jesus told them that prayer. That was before Jesus was crucified on the cross for our sins. Jesus was still alive. And that's how he taught his disciples to pray to the Father. When I was young, I was about 12 years old, I first accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior at age 12. However, ever since then, I would sin, even to this day, and pray, Dear Heavenly Father, please forgive me for what I just did. I was 12 years old when I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. The Lord's Prayer is fine for a person who is not saved, just finding the Lord, Jesus Christ, and accepting him as their Lord and Savior for the first time. The reason why is this. In the prayer, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, Jesus Christ has died once and for all on Calvary, on the cross, for all of our sins past, present, and future. He died just once. When he was on the cross, he said, it is finished, and then died. Christ's redemptive plan was finished. That means that part of that prayer should be prayed as this, and thank you for forgiving us, forgiving us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Any time you pray, forgive us, or forgive me, for my sins, it's like you're re-crucifying Christ on the cross again, and he, remember, died once and for all for all of our sins. Even until I'm 54 years old now, even until I was in my 50s, I kept praying when I did something wrong, like smoking cigarettes, Dear Heavenly Father, please help me stop smoking. Forgive me for smoking. I'm sorry. And that's wrong. I've learned this from other pastors. The prayer should be, Thank you for causing me to stop smoking. Thank you for forgiving me of smoking. We do it in the past tense. Thank you for forgiving me of smoking. Because Christ died once and for all for all of our sins on the cross. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals always reminding you to keep looking down.